Radium Fire is flat now, so nothing is going on here right now at the price of XRP. Now, here's an article on Watcher Guru, Ripple and Japan Partnership, a game changer for XRP. So Ripple has formed an alliance with uh, SBI Digital Community, a Japanese financial giant, SBI Holdings subsidiary. This partnership seeks to boost the XRP ledger in the Web3 community, potentially changing XRP's role in blockchain technology. So there you go, Ripple and Japan. I'm <laughs> Ripple partnerships all the time. And now that this lawsuit with the SEC is finally over, I would imagine we're going to start to see a lot more partnerships, specifically here in the United States as well. So that might end up being a game changer for XRP. We'll have to see, but nothing exciting there yet. Now here's an article on Security Brief by Sean Mitchell. Ripple partners began beta testing a new stablecoin, Ripple USD. So you know that Ripple announced the other day they're going to start beta testing their stablecoin, RLUSD. Now, I believe this is going to be a big deal over time. I don't think it really, you know, has much of an impact right now. <laughs> and again, looking at the price of XRP, yeah, 56 cents, not doing too much. Now, be aware of scams. I did talk about that yesterday on X. There's going to be a lot of scams out there, and they're already starting trying to trick you. So make sure you guys are, you know, paying attention to that and don't get tricked. All right, the uh, Ripple USD stablecoin is currently being tested on both the XRP Ledger and the Ethereum mainnet. Plans are in place to expand its availability to additional blockchains and decentralized finance products over time. So, again, I believe this is a big deal. I'm excited about it, but obviously ain't doing nothing to the price of XRP. Here we go. Coindesk, XRP bullish options. Popularity jump, maybe due to ETF speculation. So we uh, have been hearing the speculation or rumors of this XRP ETF. And my whole philosophy is why not? I mean, there's a Bitcoin ETF, there's a Ethereum ETF. Why not an XRP ETF? I personally think that every coin in the top 10 will have, by market cap, is gonna have an ETF and XRP is no different. I just did a video yesterday talking about XRP futures contract. If there's an exchange that's launching that futures contract. And that's how pretty much all these ETFs started they started with the futures contract and then they moved to the ETF. Because if you're going to approve the futures contract, you got to have to approve the ETF. But right now, it's not doing anything to the price. Traders have locked in over $2 million in XRP call options. So I do trade call options. I do it in the members area. I got tons of video on call options. It's a way to leverage the uh, stock, so the ETF, Exchange Traded Fund, is a stock. You're gonna be able to buy it you know, wherever you have your brokerage account, but you might, again, I'm assuming they're gonna have options, be able to trade call options. So that gets me super excited, because that's the leverage that I like to trade because I have 18 years experience trading options. You know, jumping back to X here, I can't find much. XRP surge imminent. Ripple's new stablecoin, that's what they're talking about, which we just mentioned a minute ago. Here's something I found on a tweet from SMQKE, JP Morgan's documentation on banks. So this is a document put out by JP Morgan. He has highlighted right here, look at the case of Ripple, which has the potential to disrupt cross-border payments. So they are talking about Ripple in this document. This tweet by Danny, XRP is currently number one. as the most bought digital asset on Uphold. So move to number one. Here's something I found from Jack the Rippler. Binance US promotes XRP after regulatory clarity. So, you know, again, these corridors are starting to open up. Now this case is finally over and hey, Binance promoting them. That's just another uh, positive sign moving forward. You know, I'm just not seeing much information out there. And that's probably why the price is not doing nothing. Even taking a look at Bitcoin, 58,000. So we drop below 59, just not happening. And like I said in my tweet yesterday, for us to maintain bullish momentum, we have to break this 58 cent high. If we're going to, if the bears are going to take over, they're going to break this 55 cent low. But right now price is literally coiling up in the middle getting ready for something. Now, if you're interested in joining our private members area, we just launched that. Inside that members area, we have a lot of perks. I post videos that I don't post on this channel for anybody else, private live streams, live coaching classes. We go over indicators. Also, I have a Q&A group where I give alerts 
and that we have a specific trading room for crypto, day trading, the futures, and option swing trading. If that interests you, check down below in the description to join our private members area. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the way out, and we'll see you in the next video.